Okay, so you want to mod Titanfall 2, but you don't want to bother with unpacking all of this shit. So, what you can do, you can use my tool, which works by creating a patch VPK, which will have all the files that you have modified without needing to repack the whole VPK. So, as you can see, it's playing Russian Titanfall 2. We can exit. So, and you have this link. You will need to go to releases and then download whatever is on the top and marked as green, preferably. Right now, there is only pre release. So, it comes in two favors .NET dependent. You will need to have the .NET 5 runtime. Uh, any of them, either plain or desktop, since it's only a console application. If unsure, choose portable. So you will download it and compress everything into this folder. And so how you can go about it? Well, you can put your VPK in a separate folder alongside the files that you need to mod. The directory should also be in format of the name of the director vpk without the dot vpk okay my hdd is dying so it has all the files which i will be modding this is the enhanced menu mod with some modifications in order to make the, it work with this tool what we can do we can drop it onto the rspn vpk and we will see that this tool does make backups so backup your dot back up your dear vpk file we press enter to continue and we'll see all the files that it will replace we will also see all the files that it will be replacing and on which files it will be working on. so make sure you have everything correct in here and it will only replace already existing files this is a no limitation so and we have the new new English client frontend and the client frontend VPK which contains all of our modifications so we can paste it here launch the Titanfall 2 it will launch a console window because I have some modifications made for reverse engineering so and when it will launch we will see that it's enhanced version 1.7 but not really since it contains some modification as you can see there is no showcase menu is decluttered we can go here there is enable cheats we can go to key binds we see everything and how much is it it's like under a kilobyte under a megabyte size so you don't need to unpack this whole well, like i don't know a few gigabytes in size in order to just change a few things and we can go in audio we can see these as our fake times and in video i don't remember that it changes anything in video well here we go hope this was somewhat useful and can direct you to your better modding experience